Welcome back everyone. I think everybody knows this by now, but there is an issue that's been plaguing a ton of different iPhones, but not only iPhones, Androids as well for the most part. And it has to be one of the most annoying issues I've ever had for pretty much any iPhone out there. And this is actually with the storage problems within all of our devices. Now this is completely different than, you know, just randomly running out of storage. When we fill up our device and when we use our device more and more, typically things will go ahead and fill up on our device. We'll download more apps. We'll get more photos and videos who we'll get more songs, whatever the case is. So that's totally understandable. We are going to be running out of storage on our device at some point, but there are so many times where we can't even access what we want to delete or what we have to delete. And I've been in so many situations with my devices where I would actually go through and factory reset my device and I would still not be able to access the storage because it's still taken up by either the system storage or the other storage of my device. Now, if I go ahead and make my way over to my own personal device and I looked at my system settings, I'm sure I can go ahead and find a ton of different system data or other data within my device that's just being taken up and I can't even see what it is. Now, like I mentioned, Android devices and laptops and all these other devices have this type of issue too. But with iPhones, because I use it every day, I feel like I should be able to have access at least to view what's inside of that specific folder. And for us to not even see what's within it, I'm assuming system data can fall under, you know, like the OS itself and the, you know, background process and different things like that. That's totally okay. But under other, I don't understand why I won't be able to see at least what's within that specific structure. Is it, uh, you know, different downloads I have? You know, can I be able to delete some stuff there? Those are some things I wish I could see. And from what I've seen and from what I've personally witnessed from my own devices after owning them for so many different years, I'm actually surprised that Apple still has not given us the ability of viewing what's within those specific folder structures. On top of that, this is by far one of the biggest storage issues that we've had probably since the birth of iOS. I mean, every single iPhone I've had for the most part has been taking up a ton of data for those two different compartments. But on top of that, for my older iPhones, like my iPhone 6 that has 16 gigabytes of storage within it, I can't even pretty much download like Genshin Impact, for example, or most of these bigger games because I'm constantly running out of storage. And this was another issue that we had with something like the Apple Watch Series 3, where it just didn't have enough storage to download the biggest updates that it had. My iPhone 6s, iPhone 6s Plus, iPhone 6, a lot of these different devices with 16 gigabytes of storage for the base models, they don't even have enough storage to download the latest software update. So I will have to go every single time once iOS 16 or iOS 15 came out back then, I had to factory reset all my devices in order to install this update because, guess what, the data was being taken up by system and other and I couldn't delete it. After deleting all the apps, I still couldn't cycle it down a little bit further after that. So in my opinion, this is an issue that's been plaguing all the iPhones pretty much I've ever owned and it's a very annoying thing. I don't know how Apple can go ahead and fix this. But I'm sure if they give us the ability of viewing at least what's within that other compartment, we don't even need system. Just within other, I would love to see what's, you know, inside of that folder. That way we can go and delete or at least view and see what we need to change with our iPhones in my opinion. So that kind of covers it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.